Hello, I'm Ashley Chavez and welcome to New Tech Knowledge Base. Today we'll be looking at steps through troubleshooting a data link serial connection for use with LiveTex and TriCaster. First, we'll need a PC running LiveTex, data link software, a scoreboard controller, and a serial to USB adapter. And lastly, we'll be using the Dectronix All Sport character generator along with a Keyspan serial to USB adapter. Next, for testing purposes only, we'll need to install TerraTerm our hypertonal software. And last but not least, we'll need a TriCaster to receive a scoreboard graphics from LiveTex over NDI. So let's get started. On the PC, we'll need to make sure the USB adapter has the latest driver available. To find this in Windows, we'll go to Device Manager, then Ports, and we're looking for the name of our adapter, Keyspan. Next, we'll double click to open the properties and then choose the driver tab. From here, we will click on Update Driver and then run a search for the latest driver available. Please contact the USB adapter manufacturer for specific drivers that may be available. Once updated, we'll need to look for the port settings information so we can use them for testing, as well as in the data link setup. Take notes of the bits per second, data bits, parity, stop bits, and comp port, which is usually three. Looking at the scoreboard controller, let's set up a new game for football. Then set the game clock for a good amount of time. Be sure to select manual mode on the controller and not automatic. Then start the clock. This way the controller will be sending clock data every time it changes. Please contact the scoreboard controller's manufacturer for details on how to set up your model of controller. Now we can launch the TerraTerm software. This will verify the scoreboard's controller is sending the correct data. Once open, we'll select the serial connection option and then the COM port from earlier in Device Manager. Once selected, you should see a pattern of data coming through. In this case, we can see the time left on the clock, the current scores, and the other data the controller is sending. Okay, since we're receiving the data from the controller, we should be good to go from here. Now let's configure data link, then live text and bring it all together with a TriCaster session. For standalone live text, we'll need to configure data link while in Windows. Inside data link, we'll then rename the specific connection as football. We'll check off serial. We'll click the gear icon next to the serial checkbox. Set the board type, the sports we'll be using, and the COM port information we noted earlier in device manager. We'll click done, Save the profile and click Update. Next, let's open LiveTex and set up the scoreboard to pull the data from the controller. As you can see, we have the basis scoreboard graphics with several placeholders for the team scores, downs, the game clock, and quarter. Let's go ahead and set each value to the corresponding data link value from the scoreboard controller. We can start with the home team score. We can select the text box, then right click to view the preset codes that are being received. In this case, we'll be looking for CG Dex home score. Next would be the codes for downs, followed by the game clock, the quarters, and lastly, the visitor score, which is CG Dex visitor score. You'll see once we switch from the text tool to the select tool, the presets will translate to their current values. We can go ahead and see the changes in real time by changing the downs, the home score, the visitor score, and quarter. Now let's send this live over NDI. From within the session, we've set live text as an input and set that input as a downstream keyer. So we'll turn on the keyer and there we go. We have our scoreboard graphic and scoreboard data coming through. If you would like an NDI workflow to handle your scoreboard needs, be sure to take a look at NewTek's Live Panel as part of our premium access package. Live Panel will allow remote access to the TriCaster from a networked computer or tablet. For more in-depth look on how to use Live Panel as a scoreboard controller, check out our very own Richard Evans on NewTek's YouTube channel. And don't forget to check us out on social media where you can get the latest news and information regarding new tech's products and services. I'm Ashley Chavez and see you next time on New Tech Knowledge Base.